I have with me here Eugene Krabs, owner of the restaurant. Any thoughts, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> okay, we'll come back to you later. Hey yo, how's it going everyone? Entropy here today with another video. Today we're going to be doing another week of big news. This week, pretty big, much bigger than last. What we're going to do, as usual, we're going to cover JP, we're going to cover Global, and at the end of the video, I'm just going to showcase one or two uh, different sources or, or other links or other information that I find that might be helpful for players like yourself. So I guess without further ado, let's begin with JP. So since last week, we got a list of the events that will be coming along. We found the day two finals of the Autumn Championship. So, uh, so according to my uh, two of the, um, the players are from, this, uh, from the subreddit Discord. So that's super cool to have some, some uh, Gaijin foreigner representation. Uh, in addition, we find the clan distribution again, like we talked about last time. Narukami still very prominent next to Shadow Paladin, and then a little bit of Kagero, Link Joker, and Beast, uh, and and uh, Nova Grapplers, and then a little bit of others, which uh, which you will see uh, has a little bit of different stuff sprinkled around um, OTT, Bermuda, even. So it's very nice to see that there's still a little bit of everything, but. Even right now, Narukami is still on top. Eradicators is still very strong. And uh, if you are a global player, this shows that in the, in the JP server, at the very least, it has shown dominance for over you know a three or four month period. And it's definitely worth picking up right now, especially with the SP medals coming soon that we will get to. Um, next up, we have Raid Up for JP. There is a Shadow Paladin collection that uh, only includes um, the cards from this set. So only Shadow Paladin stuff from set 12. Um, and there's also a Link Joker rate up for Link Joker stuff from this set. Next up is another clan tournament. So for this tournament, there is a much more, um, you know, fair, fairly distributed distribution representation of different clans. Uh, I think the rule set for this is that you can only play clan event clans. And, you know, honestly, Spike Brothers, on top of their game and again it's coming to global soon so if you are interested in spikes or if you want to play a clan event um, and you know spend some gems on it uh, spikes is definitely worthy of an investment again for uh, for the set overview we talked about how Mirakumo is also amazing and um, definitely with it only being one set of release only one gacha you know you don't need to go back to get older stuff it's still having 23.8% of the player base playing that clan, choosing to play that clan, definitely shows that it's really popular and very strong. And other than that, we have Tajikaze, which had the Ancient Dragon support, um, and some Grand Blue with the new reverse stuff, and the new Nectars, and Mr. Kokiki here. Um, unfortunately, even even if they don't have the support, there still, still are quite a few players that really enjoy playing them, and so definitely, you know, still prominent. That's very neat. Um, Double VP, recently double VP, maintenance notices, some bugs uh, here and there. And then again, we talked about how there might be a, another Hollow Live event, and that's the case. In addition, Suisse's Hollow Live event, you know, previously you had this blue background, they're gonna change it to, to, a, a, to a neater background, I, I suppose. Uh, so nothing else changes, you know, it's the same character, it's the same stats and all that, it's just the, the art itself. Next up, for the next rank season, so that is in you know, less than a day, we will have the uh, Ride Chain Link Joker unit for us to pick up. Uh, and for the sleeves, we have Liberator Garmore and Schwartz Child Dragon, which is, which is the name of this unit. So that's very neat, you know, we have, an, uh, we have F2B options to get um, Nebula Lord Dragon, at least a copy of that with the Black Rings. Um, and then we have Schwartz Child Dragon. Um, and this probably means that we might not be seeing a lot of other Link Joker rewards in Ranked. So maybe not Chaos Breaker, maybe not um, Omega Glendios, but, but who knows, who knows. It really depends on what we see. And um, for now, all, all we can say is that Schwartz Child will be the Ranked reward. So uh, next up, you know, again with the Hollow Life, it's the same thing. We have a 10K Vanilla, we have, you know, the, the, the sleeves, the profile picture, the banner. So that's very neat. Um, and there's missions to get VP rewards. So do save up your VP and stamina for that. 
and then you can trade for these kind of stuffs. Next up, there's another worldwide tournament. So if you are playing the JP version, and if you are, you know, English speaking, don't be afraid of, of joining these tournaments. Go check them out. Um, go, the link to this Discord is down in the description box below, and uh, you can definitely join and uh, play some games. Nanami, a character from the uh, Shin arc, just had her birthday, so happy birthday to that. And then, and then here are the deck lists for the championships for today. So if you are interested in looking at the replay and um, and you know a discussion of that, go check out Different Fights stream or YouTube. Uh, I believe he just worked on that recently. Uh, and then, so as you can see, overall, let's just talk about the list. I think there's a lot of Shadow Paladin. There's a lot of Narukami. There is Shadow Narukami, Shadow Narukami. There is some Kagero representation. So definitely very cool. Spike Brothers with Bad and Dagger. So very neat. And then Sukiomi. I believe Sukiomi got third and uh, bricked really hard. So that's very really unfortunate. But we can see that, you know, definitely still very strong. Uh, probably still the most stable and uh, consistent build of OTT. But there's a little bit of Magus is splashed around here. So that's interesting to, to see. And um, Liberators as well. One representation of Liberators. So yeah, overall, overall, we see a lot of um, we see a lot of Narukami, a lot of Shadow Paladin, and then a little bit of Kagro, a little bit of Gold Paladins, um, and an OTT sprinkled around here and there. So I think, you know, if you're a global player, I think this is a good idea, a good chance to check out these lists and see what you want to invest in into the future. Um, and I mean, definitely, you know, there are other really good decks as well, like Jewel Knights or. And, and, and Aqua Force, maybe Transcore, but definitely, or, or like Joker even, but you know, it is, it is always nice to get like <laughs> some idea from the metagame in JP and maybe think about why these lists didn't really top that well. Um, and I think overall we can just see that there is a dominance in Shadows and Narukami. So if you are interested in playing, you know, competitively or if you, if you enjoy these clans anyways and want to win games on ranked and stuff, then maybe, maybe it's worth picking these up. Especially since for Narukami, you can see that the lists don't really change that much. Maybe that one copy of um, Steve, and, and that's that's basically about it. So the winner was uh, Shadow Paladin and Narukami, the most common lists out there. Nothing much to say. Um, something something neat is that the winner did use two Namains and one car. Um, some people really don't like now playing non revengers but. Um, here, since the main is an intercept, you know, if you play it early game, you're filtering out, you're drawing more cards, you're plusing, it's definitely still very va valuable and vi viable in car. You know, it's not a revenge name, so you can't sack it, but it's still an on place plus one. So definitely, you know, as a one of, it's still, it's still, it's still there and you can still play it. But if you, if you want to avoid it, you can definitely still do that. You know, there are other, other lists that don't play, play car and, uh, you know, so, so there's that. So that's the end of the Shadow Paladin ranked, and uh, you're going into Schwarzschild, and then there is some information for the Championship 2020 Winter. So if you are interested in topping and winning some amazing awards, you know, go go check out check 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 out the information. Go qualify for it, and uh, best of luck to to everyone there. All right, so let's move on to global news. So for global, last week we ended off with you know the the change in the time zones. So there's that. Um, there's a double VP campaign that is that has been happening for the last few days. So if you didn't do that yet, go go use your stamina and all that to get some VP quick. Um, next up for the next season, some people were asking what is the rank reward? It is the Genesis um, Artemis, the ride chain for Genesis. Again, if you are interested in knowing more about the the overview of this month, you know, what's the next plan of it? Spike Brothers, go check out the set overview. That probably gives you a good place to start um, what we can expect or what we have seen from JP and then what we will expect in global at the very least. And then starting from tomorrow on the 16th, we will be getting SP medals for this set. Finally, we will be getting it. So I guess tomorrow we will be seeing Entropy open some NAM packs and hopefully finishing up Eradicators you know, starting from scratch actually, because I have zero, zero, I spent zero packs on the set. So that's very exciting. Um, for every 100 SP medals, you get one SP triple rare. For 30, you get one SP double rare. Um, so that's neat. Some edits. 
uh, maintenance notice, of course. So be sure to, to uh, note that you can access rank fight after 23.30 PST. And then lastly, even though I covered this in the set overview for set 10, apparently they brought it a bit earlier. This is the limited time. Fall festival items now on sale. You will be getting Aichi skin, Kai skin, um, some little like traditional Japanese festival kind of little my room decorations. Um, of course, this is pay to, pay, pay to play. You have to pay to access these. Um, so they might be a little rare, but if you are interested in the skins, if you are willing to pay for it, why not flex that money, right? So that's basically it for the news. So now let's just go into introducing some other content creators. I think uh, ideally I will be introducing one, uh, one content creator every week um, alongside with the news. I think this is a very nice tool to, to build up this community. So for today, I want to introduce the Vanguard Zero community server. Of course, shameless promotion right there. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe, give this video a like, and a comment down below, you know, what you enjoy about this channel or Vanguard Zero. That'd be very, very much appreciated. So here, um, of course, you know, uh, Final Phase, Final Phase Gaming, he's a very cool person. Um, he's given me a lot of advice with working on, on what he does. He does a lot of Vanguard Zero content, a little bit more now. I think it's every Wednesday. Uh, he does some Smash content. He does some Genshin Impact, Pokemon and all that. So if you are interested in that, um, you know, do check them out. In addition, here is his stream schedule that he sent me. Um, so of course, for me, I try to stream occasionally. I don't really have a set schedule, so that's really hard for everyone to show up. But Final Phase Gaming has it covered for you. Um, if you are, you know, in Australia, or if you know, time zones probably work better for you. Um, 8 p.m. in Australia, he has a proper schedule: Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. He will be doing streams as well as daily uploads on YouTube. So if you are interested in any of these games, you know, even Pokemon, um, do check out his YouTube. Do check out his Twitch. Go, go, give him a subscribe, follow, whatever you want to do. And um, he has, you know, he does a lot of stuff, so a lot of experience and um, definitely do check him out. He is also a math teacher, so I'm sure if you have any questions about you know, statistics or, or, or any kind of concepts that you, you might be a bit confused with, go, go, go nudge him and uh, give him, give, send, him, send, send him my regards. So that's, that's basically it for this week's big news. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the pack opening. Bye.